Hey, welcome back everybody to the next video recording of statistics by Chad Bemis. In the last video we talked about linear correlation coefficients, correlation causation, and we also talked about scatter plots. In this video we're going to be talking about linear regression and line of best fit. So if two variables have a significant linear correlation, positive or negative, we can make a prediction for the output or response variable for a given value of the explanatory variable or input variable x. So here we have a table of ages of children and the reading level. So the reading level can be interpreted as grade level. So a 15-year-old would normally be placed in about ninth grade or give or take one grade and 9.7 would be that they read at a high ninth grade level. Okay, so that's the interpretation of these numbers here. So once again um, I've plotted the data in my trusty calculator under lists 1 and 2. By the way, if you have the lists still in your calculator from the last video, you can see that L3 and L4 are still there from that last example. And if I wanted to clear that out, I would go to highlight the name of the list. And you can see the list as a, a set there, separated by commas. You can click the clear button and then go back down and it clears the entire list. It's a lot easier than having to clear off, you know, individual values. Anyway, so we have this L1 and L2. You may recall that when we found the linear correlation coefficient, we hit the stat button, then calculate, then number four, and that enabled us to find the, now in this case it's L1 and L2, so it's actually defaulted at L1 and L2, so I don't actually have to click L1. I can, but second L1, comma, second L2, like I did with the 3 and the 4 in the last video. If I do it, it'll work, but I don't have to do it. I can just hit enter. And then the R value is still given to me, so it's a strong linear correlation here. But also, you notice that there's a value of A, 0.8648, and B, negative 3.811. This will enable us to get the equation of the line of best fit, which we can then plot into the calculator. So once again, remember, if you want to turn on the stat plot, looks like it's already on. So if I hit zoom 9, there's my new data. Now what I want to do is plot the line of best fit along there. So we'll show you how to do that. All right. So using a scatter plot, we can see the apparent rela linear relationship between the two variables, age and reading level. And if you recall from what we just saw in the calculator, it was a pretty strong linear relationship. Okay, And uh, also the level of R is very close to 1, so that also indicates it's strong. Okay, So the regression equation will show us, uh, will give us the equation of a line. It'll also help us predict uh, what we call interpolate or extrapolate. Interpolate means that we can predict the value of the response variable if x is in between the ages that were given, um, which I believe were 15 was the highest age and let's say 6. I forget exactly the number. So it was, yeah, 6. Okay. All right. If x is between 6 and 15, I can figure out what the y value is. To extrapolate, you may have heard the term extrapolate before, I would find y, find the value of the response variable if the value of x is larger than 15. So in other words, for a child who's, let's say, 19 years old, what age is, you know, what is her reading level, excuse me. 
So what is the, we could extrapolate using this line of best fit. So that's what we do with the regression equation. So once we determine the equation, we can interpolate, which is finding the response variable in between the two bounds given, max and min, right? The max is 15 and the min is 6. Or we can extrapolate, we can find the y value of x is larger than 15. So if we have that, that, that plot that I showed you earlier, and you want the y value way out here, the equation of the line of best fit will tell us what that y value is. Okay, and the equation of the line that best fits the points on the graph can be found by using the method I showed you on the calculator. Okay, so we're going to calculate, it's calculated by finding the line that has the least variance from the actual points on the graph. Now, let's talk briefly what we mean with least variance. So remember earlier, if there's a strong linear correlation, the line of best fit does not necessarily go through all the points. So if I'm trying to figure out the variance, I'm talking about what is the difference between the actual value and the expected value of that y. So that's what we mean when we say variance. We're looking for very small distances here. If we have values that go all over the place, as we learned before, there's no correlation. The variance is huge. But when we're talking about points doing this, 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 these are very, very close to the line of best fit. Those have a small variance. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're going to use technology to find the equation itself. Okay. So remember that normally we have the equation mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, where m is what? That's right, m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. The b is the y-intercept in that slope-intercept form. So the slope determines the steepness of the line. The b determines where the line starts from on the y-axis. So remember that in the equation, or excuse me, in the calculator function that we just used, if we go back to the um, results that we got, A was 0.865 and B was negative 3.81. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So the equation, of course, will be the A times X minus, or in this case, plus B, which is negative 3.8. All right. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can find the equation of this line. One of the ways that we can do this is that we can type that equation into the calculator. That's, that's sort of the straightforward way. Okay, And this regression equation can be used to predict the value of y for any given value of x as long as the following conditions are satisfied. The correlation is statistically significant. Okay, We're going to talk about later on what that means. Okay, The predictions are made within the given range of sample data. And the population is the same as the sample data. So if we go back to the... calculator, I can say y equals 0 0.865, the x is right there, minus 3.811. So this line of best fit will be plotted on the graph alongside the stat plot, or I mean the scatter plot that we just made. So there's the line of best fit. So I click the graph button to get to that, by the way. Now, notice that we're not looking at negative values. But what's most important is that you see that many, not all, but many of the points, or in this case, the ordered pairs, which are represented by squares, fall exactly on the line. Many of them are very, very close to the line as well. All right, so if we were then to say, okay, use this equation to predict the value of the reading level of a child, okay, who is 11 and a half years old. So are we plugging in 11 and a half for x? 
Are we plugging in 11.5 for y? What are we doing for that? Then we'll do the same thing for 9 and 18. Okay. So what you can do on the calculator <coughs> is you can use the table set function, second window or second table set, switch the independent variable to ask, which it looks like it's on that already. If it's not, click enter. Then go to the table, second table, and you can type in 11.5 and as long as the y1 is the correct equation it will give you the reading level 6.1 or 6.14 there's the reading level there alright nine years old We can type in 9, and was it 18 for the other one? So third, or almost fourth grade, and almost twelfth grade for the 18-year-old. Okay, so that's how we use the regression equation to predict those values. Following data as a sample, here's a health example for you. Following data is a sample of measurements of a person's physical fitness measured on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being perfectly fit, and the number of days it took for the person to recover from gallbladder surgery. So physical fitness level, again, 10 is perfectly fit, 1 is probably sloth, and recovery time, again, in uh, days for gallbladder surgery. So use your calculator to type in these lists and then find your line of best fit you can make your scatter plot and then take a look at that you can find the regression line and use the regression, e regression equation to make a prediction of recovering time recovery time for someone with a fitness level of 5.5 so again you would use the table to do that with t the uh, table set set to ask. And by the way, uh, the other way to plot the regression line without having to literally type it into the Y1 involves very simply clicking stat, calculate the linear regression or linreg selection and then clicking enter and then type in your two lists that the stat plot is using and then one more comma and then you're going to click the vars button over to y variables y vars function and then y1 or wherever you want the function to go into and then hit enter it gives you the information again, just like we had before, but if you look at the y equals, now it's got all of that in there, mx or ax plus b. So then I can click the graph, and there's the line. And this concludes the video.